uh, and the horizontal canal uh, form a coplanar, like the uh, posterior and anterior of the other side form a coplanar, and uh, vice versa for the functional pairs. Uh, this is why, because we know that it is not actually 90 degrees as we think. The range of angles between the planes of the canal is quite large, so no two persons are the same. That's why there is sometimes when we do the rehabilitative maneuvers or the canal positioning, uh, we uh, cannot have a complete resolution. We should know that the angle between, for example, the horizontal posterior planes range from 75.8 to 98 degrees. And the range between the horizontal anterior planes is between 77 to 98 degrees. And for the posterior anterior planes, the range is from 75.8 to 100.1. That's why, as a result of anatomical variation, the sensorial planes are not precisely orthogonal with the Earth's vertical and the Earth's horizontal. And angular rotations of the head stimulate each canal to a varying degree. So it is not a one stimulation and it is not a fixed stimulation because of this variation which is different between persons and another intersubjective uh, uh, variation. This figure shows this uh, variation and so is the, uh, the right anterior left posterior as a functional pair, uh, left anterior right posterior and the horizontal we should know, as Dr. Samir mentioned before, that the autoconia uh, have been displaced from the 9 marginal position of the into one of the semi separate planes, rendering the canal sensitive to changes in the head position. In the case of the popular recitals, the autoconia debris becomes adenal to the copula, the copula becomes here a linear axillary. So, depending on a change in the head position, changing gravitational vector, which creates an abnormal uh, copular deflection. While in the canal devices, the displaced autoconia are flattening free within the canal. This is a type of the canal variations between the posterior classic one, and it occurs in 60 to 90 percent. The dips will bike maneuver, the diagnostic maneuver, but we should know that the nystagmus here is upbeating torsional nystagmus, and the treatment is every uh, maneuver. The horizontal one is between 10 to 20 percent, with the spinal with this uh, this for the diagnostic. Uh, spinal root test horizontal is the nystagmus induced, where trephony maneuvers is the treatment of choice here, while in the anterior canal, it is the rarest one, uh, in the flex or pipe can, it is a down heating nystagmus, uh, sometimes distortional or, or, or not, uh, and the heavy maneuvers can help in this uh, diagnosis. There are clinical implications for the treatment of the benign barbizinal position of the as all of the maneuvers are based on the premise that the semicircular canals are orthogonal to one another and the vertical canals are at uh, 45 degree angles to the mid sagittal plane. When the maneuver is not effective on the first or the second try, slight reorientation here of the head relative to the mid sagittal plane and the horizontal plane should be considered, the one from the applied anatomy uh, uh, the posterior canal is involved in most cases, and the lateral canal with its geotropic and abgeotropic, as was uh, discussed thoroughly uh, with Dr. Samir, is not uncommon, whereas the rarest form is the benign partitional position of the tibo, uh, in the anterior canal. We should know that the typical posterior canal is characterized by positional nystagmus in both positive of like this. The nystagmus is proportional to twice for the left side and the counterclockwise for the left side with a vertical up eating component. We all know this uh, dipsal pipe maneuver, we know it by heart. While the anterior canal denying for positional position of the right is characterized by intensity value. Vertical down heating of this nystagmus evoked through the straight head hanging and the dicks uh, or by uh, positioning test. Without inversion of the down heating the vertical nystagmus in returning back to the sitting position. This shows the head hanging uh, test here with a uh, prolonged force positioning on the uh, right side. We should know that we have also a pathology which we call it a short arm and it is described by the circus 
and autotropic posterior analgesis uh, recently described by Panucci on the basis of the pattern of ocular movement. Uh, induced by positioning test, hypothesis that the presence of the in the distal part of the non ampullary arm of the posterior canal. So, it's a typical form of the posterior canal in my position of the vertigo, and we should put this in our mind while we are differentiating the anterior canal from the non ampullary arm uh, posterior canal in my positional position of vertigo. And here is a clinical picture. Described by Agus uh, of the posterior canal crisis with a down beating from this nystagmus characterized by portion of component clockwise to the uh, right dips of pipe positioning and counter clockwise for the left uh, dips of pipe positioning, indicate the possibility of the existence of the apotropic posterior form, which was characterized by Geno. In the anterior canal, the mind of this position of the which one of the atypical forms of the benign the torsional component is not always clear and less intense uh, than the vertical one. It is clockwise uh, for the left anterior canal and counterclockwise for the left uh, <coughs> right anterior canal. We should also know that regardless of the positioning side, latency is absent uh, of uh, or British hole in the uh, nystagmus is sometimes indefatigable. Positioning usually uh, provokes serious uh, vertiginous symptoms, whereas the uh, head in the hanging uh, position uh, and always trigger the status. The average tropic posterior canal in an persistent position of the which is sometimes uh, mysticable with the anterior canal, is characterized by the apoxysmal nystagmus to go through the dips of like this and sometimes in the straight head hanging position. Nystagmus is sometimes particular with androxism, uh, is often not intense. Uh, when the patient comes back to the sitting position and the nystagmus still down, reverses its direction and the wind reverses its intensity, sometimes uh, rises. This was treated with the uh, quick libratory uh, rotation maneuver. This is the most important. We should Carefully evaluate the following while we examine the patients with the benign positional position of the type. Differences in intensity and the direction of the nystagmus, the triggering position or positions, and the inversion of the nystagmus in returning to the sitting uh, position. This is fundamental in order to uh, identify uh, the affected canal and its site. And also to adapt the most appropriate therapeutic maneuver for uh, the, the version of the benign abscissement position of the type. In the anterior canal and abdominal posterior canal, there is a gradient. They put a gradient for those uh, types of the atypical forms of the uh, benign abscissement position of the type. This is uh, done by Califan uh, Hotel. They put a certain and probable and then a possible anterior canal benign abscissment position of the type. The certain one, there is the presence of a positional vertical down beating paroxysmal nystagmus, it goes through the straight hanging position and sometimes through the textbook like this. In such positions, a uh, possible uh, presence of a clockwise torsional component for the left anterior canal and the counter clockwise torsional component for the right anterior canal. A canal conversion in typical posterior canal benign paroxysmal position of the type during or immediately after the therapeutic maneuver characterized by a vertical upbeating in nystagmus clockwise for the left canal and the counter clockwise for the right canal. While <coughs> the probable anterior canal affection, uh, it is the same as certain but with a direct resolution of the disease without canal conversion in the typical posterior canal. We have also the possible, uh, the possible anterior canal. This is a resistance of the symptoms after five cycles of therapeutic uh, maneuver, and the MRI doesn't show any neurological disease as the result because of the nystagmus or a patient close to follow up before the resolution of the disease. This is the anterior canal to nine for this man position as the uh, type in a sitting position the above on the back of this uh, figure and in the straight uh, uh, head uh, hanging position uh, at the bottom of the uh, figure. Now, what about the abogeotropic posterior canal denying paroxysmal position of vertigo classification also? 
We have a certain uh, one, and this certain one, there is a presence of a down beat in the nystagmus, which can provide for the right canal, and the counter provides for the left canal, it goes through the leg sulfide uh, test, and sometimes through the straight head hanging uh, positioning. While there is a possible presence of the vertical down beating component in the same uh, positioning test, and the canal conversion in the typical posterior canal during or immediately after the therapeutic maneuver. While the probable one as certain also, but with a direct resolution of a disease without canal conversion in the typical posterior canal, and the possible one here, the resistance of symptoms after a five cycles of therapeutic maneuvers, the MRI doesn't show any neurological disease as a possible cause for the nystagmus, and the patient closed for up uh, before the resolution of the disease. This is after this figure shows the left posterior canal benign positional position at the type of in the sitting position, uh, typical uh, posterior canal, uh, obelisks are, the, uh, are in the ambulatory uh, arm of the canal, while the abo uh, geotropic uh, posterior canal, obelisks are in the non ambulatory arm uh, of the canal, which is a typical form here. And this figure shows the left typical posterior canal. Uh, in A, this is an apogeotropic one, while in B, this is a posterior canal, benign paroxysmal position of the while uh, the final position here in C of the otolis in the next to five positioning test uh, in the same in the strobing part of the canal. The treatment maneuver for the anterior canal, benign paroxysmal position of the many of the maneuvers are. Uh, the abode for the uh, management, but the most common one is the Jacobino maneuver. But we have also the reverse every maneuver, which can work here, and the reverse Simon maneuver, the rack maneuver, and the prolonged forced position procedure. While Kim maneuver can be also a modification of the uh, Jacobino maneuver, and finally the Foster maneuver. Many maneuvers, all of them are based on the geometry of the uh, semicircular canals and the A and the anatomy. For the for the obvious uh, abnormality and uh, types of the the remember the symptoms of the type and the types of the types. Here is this is the Jacobino repositioning maneuver uh, for the anterior canal. During the maneuver, the otolith moves toward the common thrust and the utricle. Uh, the head position is the same both for the left and right anterior canal. So whether this on the right canal or on the left canal, it is the same position. For, for the same uh, treatment maneuver. While this one for the apotropic uh, form of the uh, posterior canal in the short arm of the posterior canal, we can do that quick like lateral rotation maneuver uh, from the starting position here in A and then to the final contralateral lying position in B for a posterior canal benign position of the type. This uh, maneuver takes almost one second. And finally, uh, thank you for your attention. Thank you.